Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, Royals fans. This is Sportsman at News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the preview to our Royals versus the Trois Rivier Lions. As Coach Kirk McDonald said in the Lions War, that Eric did a great job with, was that they're trying to answer back from the November. They did not play as well as they hoped in Quebec. They're trying to answer back, now playing fantastic hockey. I jumped the gun saying our first place Reading Royals because technically they're in second because Newfoundland has games at hand and has the winning percentage. But we have the 37 points to their 34. And the Reading Royals, no matter what, um, when it comes to the standings, fact of the matter is they're playing fantastic hockey of late, and we want that to continue this weekend against the Toronto Riviera Lions. But first and foremost, please continue to subscribe down below or above on the Easy Juice widget at the end to help us get to 200 by the end of February. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. Let me move this over this way a little bit. There we go. But today, when it comes to playing the Lions, the Lions are right behind the Royals in the standings. So obviously, you want to keep um, separating yourselves from them. And when it comes to our Reading Royals, they keep um, making their numbers better and better. Is Now they're almost at 100 goals scored, being 16-8 on the season with their win percentage at 55.20. 95 goals scored to 88 goals against. Um, their power play has looked better of late, uh, 21 for 98 overall, which is still not obviously a sexy number, but of late their power plays look better, and 61 of 81 on the power play, or, or on the penalty kill, excuse me. And then when it comes to Trois Riviere, let me do a keen comparison. The goal scored is literally a one goal difference by one goal less to Trois Riviere. Uh, shorthanded goals goes 2-1 to one towards them. Power play percentage goes 3% higher towards them, 24-21. to 21. And penalty social percentage goes 2% higher towards them. Um, so both of these teams have very similar overall numbers. And both of these teams, Trois Rivera in their first year, have been a very successful new club in the ECHL that have been a team to reckon with. I feel like this division, Adirondack's a good team. Um, don't get me wrong, they're a very good competitive bunch but 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 they're a good scrappy competitive bunch in that sense where Trois Riviere, um Redding and Newfoundland, those are all the, the the top kahunas of the division, the three kahunas of the division in my eyes that you really have to battle with. Where Anirondack, the Mains and the Worcesters are like the the um the the, the competitive like in game teams, but they're not gonna have the best I think ending record um overall. Uh, where Wooster's already trending that direction. Maine is going to be more close to just a 500 or like 7, whatever games under 500. And Anaronda could probably be close to around the 500 mark or maybe a couple games up as the season's end, where I think Trois Rivière, Reading, and Newfoundland will all be in the top three. But when it comes to today's game, it's just continuing exactly the pace of play, exactly the um spunk, and exactly the finesse. I mean, you can use more adjectives of the way this team has been playing, but the way that the Reading Royals have been playing, they've been entering and exiting zones with the best of them. They've been getting great tape to paper passes. They've been looking better on the power play. They've been setting guys up for the one time, or whether it's Gagnon, uh, Bykoff, or whoever. They've been setting guys up great. Uh, Garrett Cockerell, who's uh, fit back in like a glove, coming back to our Reading Royals. So is Trevor Gooch. Anthony Gagnon has been absolutely fantastic. hulky has been solid in net. Karu Ustamenko is starting to become the Karu Ustamenko of 19 and 20 again. So if that continues to happen in that direction, that's going to be fantastic. Jackson Crush, he's starting to knock people out now on top of being a skilled young player in this league. So, um, it, it, everything for this team is trending in the right direction. They're a very fun bunch to watch. Uh, this is the most fun team to watch in the Flyers organization, the Double A Reading Royals. Then it will go to the Phantoms, as the Phantoms are in a playoff spot just in there. And then the Flyers are obviously last. But the uh, Reading Royals have been playing fantastic hockey. This has been the preview to them against the Trois Rivière Lions. We have to play the hockey we've been playing of late. You can't go back to playing, obviously, similar to how they played in Trois Rivières, Quebec. But I don't see that happening or foresee that happening because the Royals are playing a different breed of hockey than when they were playing then back in November. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the game today. Please can you subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go Royals. Let's keep the winning ways going.